Hey everyone, I wanted to relate this uh, session to something that could be relevant in staff planning uh, using chi-square goodness of fit. Now, the way this really works is that um, it's a fictional scenario. I based it uh, off of just sample data, but it could be relevant to any uh, attempt at staffing you might find yourself in. So, the scenario I've set up is 45 positions for three key roles in the department. Now, the expected frequency would be 15 people or, you know, positions in each role. So if there's three different roles, divide 3 by 45 and you got 15. Um, but this analysis will determine the observed N and the expected N. And then we're going to take data from, like, another agency. So in this case, it's for uh, creative roles. Um, so we're going to take kind of what's expected and compare that to what is actually there. Um, and then we're going to take data from another agency and kind of co compare that again. Um, again, this is chi-square goodness of fit. So the assumption the significance is based on the probability of this distribution coming to fruition. Uh, the alpha will be set at 0 0.05 as, as normal. Uh, the significance, uh, we're going to get to this part. This is actually the result, so I'm a little ahead of myself. But, uh, so let's begin. So the first thing I did really was um, just jump into uh, creating a new uh, database. So base this again off of sample data, but you could create this for anything. So I put type of creative numeric uh, type of creatives here. I put three different values so you can see one equals director, two designer, three developer. Um, it's a nominal measurement so and then if we go to data view you can see here's actually all the data so here's the case numbers one through 45 and here's a different type of creative if it's one they equal a director, two designer, and three developer and you can see they're all filtered in here. I'm going to order it actually by the creative, so just right click on it, right click, and then sort ascending. So you can see one here is all the directors, two is all the designers, and three is all developers for this specific sample. So to run the analysis, click on analysis. I'm going to go to non parametric tests, legacy dialogues, and a chi square. Now, again, this is pretty simple because we really don't have a whole lot of data in this database, but for this case in point, it'll be pretty useful. So I'm going to click on this um, variable and add it to the test variable list. So pretty simple. Click on options. Uh, really, there's nothing here that I want to add. I just want to. It's always good to check to hey, is there anything I need? You could check descriptive, uh, but I'm not going to for this case. Click OK, and it will run uh, in the output window. Will run uh, the analysis again. Chi square frequencies again. This is the observed n. So this is based on our um, sample here's expected so again this is dividing it by three so if there's three different roles that's the three you get and this is how it should break down so um, this residual is actually just taking this month number minus the expected and giving you the residual so um, in this case you can see uh, chi-square 8.933 uh, uh, this is actually just because there's three actual um, uh, different roles being determined so this is actually uh, significant, but we're going to get to this later because I want to. The more important result is I want to run what's compared, comparable to um, the other agency sample data. So I'm going to go again to analysis, go to non-parametric tests, legacy dialogues, chi-square, and this time I'm going to put in some values. Um, the values I have here listed. Hold on one second. Are eight. And then another value is uh, 20. Oops, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Go 10 here. Oops. So again, obviously these should act equal uh, 45 each, 10, 37, plus 8, 45, so we're good. And again, I'm not going to change anything else because I'm still taking this test uh, s sample that we have and now comparing it to other data that we've gotten that is considered quote unquote the norm. So we're going to see here, we'll see, again, now this is the expected, so in a sense I changed expected before the expected was just divided by 3. This is changed now to the data we received. Um, Again, this data is significant. We reject a null hypothesis. Distribution of creators employed is statistically significant.